Good afternoon, everybody. This is uh, a presentation called Sound Space Kinetics. My name is Marek Holoniewski. Uh, I'm from Krakow, Poland. Uh, the special presentation for CMC conference in uh, Torino, uh, June 25, 2020. Uh, sound Space Kinetics, it can be um, presented using uh, three basic uh, keywords, metaspace, transgressive and biosensoric. Those are the three elements which will be presented during my presentation. Mm, uh, I want to show you the, the list of uh, projects which are um, either reference and very close to Art Utopias, temporary suspension, frozen in virtual space, approximative simulations of performance. The list of uh, different um, projects, some of them which are shifted to the left margin, they are utopic project never realized, mm, since they are including a quite controversial elements, they are still uh, on the way to, to be um, uh, arranged and performance in, in the future. Uh, some of them are linked, so if you get the PDF presentations later on, you can you can visit them. Description is in Polish, but the, the most of the titles are uh, in, uh, in English. Uh, let's go to the to the concept of meta instrument. Meta instrument uh, is described by my concept as a movement of people and object in a space which describes a new model of active sound space. Acoustic resonance of traditional instruments generate vibra vibration of, of a space. So I explained the vibration of the space is the most important element of the concept of meta-instruments. Listener, receiver, becomes in this way part of the instrument, active, vibrating, also in 3D space. So, in fact, there's no really di big difference between a real or virtual space in my concept. Uh, to come back to the very basic uh, routines, the listener receiver can be passive in case of installation, or it start to be active in case of interactive installation. A uh, meta instrument can be also described as a space and its resonance. Uh, so, in fact, it became a part of kinetic space. Kinetic space can be described as a movement, of, as a sound uh, source. And when we really try to understand the concept, we are mainly starting from the gesture, the gesture as a main uh, movement in space. It can be in a traditional, in a, in a uh, music sense, it can be instrumental, also conducting, but it can be dance-like or performer-like, uh, with a special reference to the performance uh, art um, uh, concept. But when we go uh, further, we can, we can also consider the movement of people and objects, then it can be active, as described uh, before, passive, or consecutive. Consecutive it's, uh, it's a very special uh, uh, form where we are translating several instructions and we code them to more complex and uh, uh, effective uh, idea. I will describe it later uh, on the series of, of examples. Then we are talking about special uh, uh, scales. The scale which is quite important for my uh, project, the scale which is like a large global scale. In this case, I call it macro. And then micro, which is a very special reflection or conversion of, or translation of certain elements of macro space. In this case, we have the, mm, a, a special uh, activity in traffic, in urban traffic open uh, spaces. Then we are talking about different mapping strategies. Then uh, 
one of my favorite uh, terms is transgression, when we are moving from one model of space vibration to another one. We are using a special translation method. It will be described later in certain examples, much more detailed. Then network interaction, which use the previously uh, explained uh, strategies like trapping, mapping, and transgression, and, and a very special uh, example and special use of uh, meta instrument uh, is when we are uh, composing, when we are arranging, when we are uh, uh, managing a network uh, interaction. Then another quite interesting focus is uh, the cases of vanishing spaces, the spaces which disappear, which start to be not quite clear and, uh, and transparent. And uh, on the end of my presentation, we will get uh, certain examples of this. Sensoric deprivation is also uh, just between transgression and vanishing spaces. We are talking about certain kind of phenomena when we reach the, 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 the edge of our uh, sensors, when we are really losing uh, 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 clear uh, uh, uh. And then on the end we have a neural networks which are mm, quite special case of of uh, of art activity which are in microspace but also the inside a very specific ephemeric and um, metaphysical uh, space, which are both virtual, uh, physical, and uh, subconscious space. Then we go to the uh, to to uh, certain examples like uh, my early works with the um, light. Uh, button light conducting the piece called WISIC what you see you get those five letters describe the concept from 1989 as you see the certain arrows showing the 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 movement of sound according to the gesture when the light is moving from left to the right the sound uh, is controlled live by the movement of the light in fact i'm using four uh, optical sensors photocells attached to my face two of them are, uh, are near my ears they are responsible of the space movement one of them are on my on, on the neck when I go vertically down and up by the light, then I control, let's so-called orchestration. I'm I'm uh, I'm moving through different models of of processing of sound transformation. The most important is inside my mouth. This is a, a time triggering sensor which triggers the tempo. It triggers amount of events split it or exploded from my from my mouth. Let me check whether we are ready to to show you the short examples here. Next example is Dark and Light Zone from 1999. The piece composed as a commission for Artity Quartet. In fact, I built up a special light installation based on four light sensors where I control four virtual instruments by the movement uh, of my hand, one or two hands, and then the, uh, the structure are controlled live. Uh, in a way that I'm thinking about the, the 3D sound sculpture around the light and around the mm, around four sensors then the, the last example is uh, the example of my performance uh, 
um, presented it uh, nine years ago on TEDx uh, uh, presentation in Krakow called Invisible Instruments. So there's a complex of different models of interactions, um, mainly uh, uh, generated by the composed material in part and in other part controlled live. But some of them are uh, instrumental sound, orchestral structures uh, similar to the to the timbre of orchestra. The other one are abstract synthetic uh, sounds, which are mixed up together. Some of them are uh, blended uh, in a in a space. Uh, then the series of job object on the picture you see two chopsticks, which are which are used like a two conducting buttons, which are conducting the virtual uh, orchestra, uh, flickering, vibrating, uh, moving up and down. Then the next example is quite uh, interesting example of uh, six channel audio system attached to the sound installation uh, called ears, eyes and nose. The piece uh, arranged, composed, uh, designed together with my friend Marek Landa. So he was responsible of the visual aspect of the of the space. Here you are. That's the that's the performance of Gianotto Gallery in in Berlin. Uh, the, the piece was realized quite long ago, 1988, and performed and exhibit in many many uh, places uh, in Poland and in Europe. Then we are going to the to the example of of active object rotation. This is the first example of the work by my student uh, uh, Maria Olbrichtowicz. The piece is called Mach, uh, consisting from the large metal plate with contact microphones and transducers. The the the, the metal uh, plate vibrates. Uh, because of the of the physical uh, feedback between those uh, devices, so the, the the metal plate start to be vibrating depends on the on the position of the transducer and the contact microphones, but also the way we are touching the the, the plate. So in fact, we are playing on the on the vibrating plate. Mm, and that's the basic uh, uh, way we are using the, the instrument. But in fact, the most <laughs> important element of the of the installation is rotation. So in certain moment, the the plates start to rotate, changing the position and changing also the the sound it produces. The sound is harmonic in harmonic, mm, noisy, quite large and giant. And uh, we are in this case, in the case of of uh, of uh, by Maria Olbrichtowicz called Mach. That's mainly the matter of of uh, of speed of rotation. 2013. Then we go to the to the series of uh, of uh, project which I listed uh, here on the on the on the slide. And that's part of, of my concept uh, global and net uh, art projects. The first project uh, initiated in this list was done in 1983, the telephone concert. Then there are some other uh, uh, either net art project or, or macro scale outdoor project like art boat, so the boat moving from one city to another one, or uh, a virtual net art project, which is GPS art, uh, both initiated in 2000, um, uh, using really different uh, selected uh, devices. You have the links, so we can go to, to the website of those uh, projects later to get more familiar. Quite interesting is Global Terrain, uh, also described later 
Ether, Ether the, the virtual project based on the large uh, library of Polish uh, Society for Electroacoustic Music, but also uh, for the uh, library of uh, International Confederation of Electroacoustic Music. Uh, the project initiated 2013, and it's still it is still available on the uh, on the net. Then the, the quite interesting uh, series of projects are brainwave, uh, call it by me, uh, brainwave uh, networking, and uh, especially the one example here documented is double brain with two performers uh, linked, connected by uh, biofeedback technology on the large distances using internet and special individual channel to get control, be the, the directional control. Then uh, 2017, uh, uh, wind waves, the piece for orchestra uh, and electronics, and then the last piece uh, done with Chris Cutler from London, Formati Folded Maps of Time. So let's describe a little bit uh, some of them. Metakinesa mac uh, macro network performance. Here is a diagram of telephone concert. Uh, three cities interconnected by telephone line. Uh, Warsaw, Vienna, Wien and Toronto. In Vienna, to Warsaw and Toronto, we have three spaces connected together with one ensemble playing live and two other rooms with the with the audio system uh, getting the the performance from the other two cities so this is the triangle and uh, the connection which was quite interesting because um, we've got uh, quite affected connection over the telephone line on the international call um, without uh, delays quite uh, reliable and 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 quite uh, interactive and then we go to the to the to the example of art boat the project never realized initiated in 2000 we have uh, uh, different uh, elements of the project in fact the, the one of idea was to invite many artists uh, to to open the big collaborative project and the uh, integration uh, of the improvising scene the free improvisation scene quite active already in this time in Poland and the performance art activity so i invited them all to the to to the boat rented boat which were moving from Krakow to the north of Poland through Bistula river our biggest uh, uh, river by weather and physical logistic circumstances uh, the project were never realized we keep it on hold for two years but finally we have to postpone it for unclear date but uh, the, the the project is is developing itself it's like a like a project in a second life so it's quite interesting to to go to the website and to to check how does it work now then we have the um, quite important uh, issue which is gps art activity i opened gps art activity in 2000 um, by landing on a airplane uh, i saw the my city the kaku city in form well you you have the the map of the city here on the left which looks like a like a piece of pizza so i've got this mm. crazy idea to to cut the the, the the city map by slices and to work with all those regions separately uh, getting different zones different audio recording on the beginning uh, so in this case the the city became an audio and video sampler city sampler containing uh, hundreds of of recordings on the beginning, all those recordings were indicated by POI, points of interest, so the, the coordinates uh, basic for GPS system. Later on, all those recordings were, uh, were loaded to the, to the server, and then uh, the car was, uh, uh, became a main performer car with GPS, GSM, 
internet uh, system connected together in 2001 became a main performer of the uh, of the project you see the diagram of gps technology you see uh, early mobile phone and my early black uh, uh, power book then the, the the region we were moving and we were exploring so small ring of Krakow called Plante with the bubble castle here and the big ring around so that was the zone we were exploring during this project mainly here you have one of the early patch Max MSP patch in Macros 9 designed with those uh, color dots of the satellites above the uh, northern uh, 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 hemispheres and then you have another part of the patch when we are calculating the movement of the car crossing certain streets with certain recordings uh, attached connected and then the car was in fact triggering initiating the previously recorded uh, audio material that is the quite interesting uh, concept of 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 a city and creating the the the, the continuous structure as a mix between different regions of the city then we go to another um, uh, project by another student of mine which was uh, initiated uh, and inspired by GPS art. Uh, uh, the, the project is realized in the blackout uh, space. Timofey Maximenko, the Ukrainian artist living in London or in Valencia before, he created the the with my uh, uh, with my direction. Uh, he created a blind map map sound labyrinth. So in fact, we are in a blackout space, uh, listening and navigating a sound by touching uh, and uh, tapping for uh, color knobs, which indicates front, back, left, right. Then we go to the quite interesting project based on the and with a very special reference to wave field synthesis, the the method invented in IRCAM, uh, um, developed and uh, and uh, arranged in different uh, other centers, including Technische Universität in Berlin. Uh, so here you see the the, the principle. Here you see some of the rooms uh, with with uh, hundreds uh, speakers, which are a very sp uh, special arrangement controlled by cluster of computers, but which was a very special uh, uh, influenced my uh, project called Vertical Orchestra from 2008. I tried to build up an acoustic wave field synthesis. So in fact watching to the to the to the building is in the night i found out that there are quite interesting blocks there are quite interesting vertical surfaces and then then i discovered that when i put the academic orchestra the orchestra of my academy of music uh, distributing them in a way that each musician will be located in one window of of, uh, of all rooms from the front wall of the building i can put a third dimension the vertical dimension of the orchestra so try to imagine usually we listen to the music to orchestra on the uh, flat surface only uh, 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 getting the sound trajectory uh, in a ambient space left right more or less it can be quite nicely the space considered when we are talking about topophonic concept in a in the second uh, half of uh, 20th century there are several examples like topophonica by Bogusław Schreffer but also Jean, Jean Scher by uh, Yanis Zenakis but in fact uh, for me it was quite interesting to consider this uh, this aspect to build up a a virtual uh, a vertical um, uh, stage so to lift the stage the traditional stage up 
to lift him up to see the musicians. So the loudest instrument on the back stage, they are shifted on the on the highest level, while strings are on the ground and the first floor level. The the project were never realized, so it, it is part of of the uh, of the uh, utopic uh, group of projects. Then we are we have the quite interesting project uh, uh, Motus Interno together uh, made with Miłosz Uczyński, a great DJ artist from Paris. I made the music for this uh, project. The project was uh, built uh, up from the organic elements uh, planted uh, before in advance and then uh, uh, with beautiful uh, video images uh, we performed this on a real uh, uh, set of building uh, front in Qashqai, in Portugal. Then we go to, to the project Global Terrain from 2007, spheric streaming, live global network. Try to imagine that we have a maquette, we have a, a ball with the diameter of 18 meters and we go inside. When we go inside we see the continents and the oceans around us. When we direct a finger to a certain point of the continent, we open a live webcam of different uh, locations. So the idea is to, to make a opening and mixing of different webcam windows. So that is the, the, the essential idea of another utopic project, never realized, Global Terrain. So in this way, I'm thinking about the, a globe, about the Earth as a, at a large global surface, and we put on this a small uh, ball, which is just a copy of the of the real uh, uh, globe. And then you see the, the, the different representation of the of the project, and then the the, the visitor is in inside the the globe controlling different um, points of different continents. Let's move to the to the short example of the solar system uh, and uh, uh, Astrolab, the astronomical device instruments, the beautiful project by my student Piotr Made from 2017. All those projects were realized during the uh, regular program on the Intermedia de Department, Finance Academy in, in Krakow. I'm teaching at the Academy of Music, but also uh, at the Intermedia uh, Finance Academy in Krakow. So um, the solar system is used in this space like a, as a musical instrument. Quite advanced, beautiful uh, project uh, inside the uh, aspheric uh, space uh, controlled by the uh, by the uh, copy of of Astrolab. Uh, replique of of the of the historical ancient uh, astronomical uh, uh, instrument device then we go from macro to micro uh, uh, macro to micro scale so then we go to those key words mentioned on the beginning like metakinesis micro transgression crossing conscious boundary towards some conscious cerebral cortex cerebral cortex is, is a quite important uh, issue so here you have the uh, uh, from 2014 i'm i'm working intensively using bi biofeedback devices so eeg neurosky mindwave mobile device from uh, brainwaves monitoring. So the list of pieces uh, using this technology. And then quite important is the double brain, the, 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 uh, the project uh, made together with my former student, Franciszek Karaczkiewicz. We are interconnected by two brain monitors, especially when we are quite large in the physical space. So whenever I'm in China or in Mexico, US, we are dealing with this, um, with this project. Um, so that the physical distance is quite large, but in fact, we are connected our brains together and we are controlling uh, projects um, live, uh, controlling different media, sound and uh, and video all together. So there's a list of, of performances here. Nine performances of Double Brain were already uh, realized from uh, 2016 to 2019. Next project is by my student, uh, 2017. Me and you equals 
I am. This is the title translated to English by Fitbit Plus, uh, virtual reality VR goggles. So you see that two cells, two rooms interconnected. The first person uh, controls the abstract uh, images, abstract um, structures, while the second one receives, but then with the controllers, controls this uh, virtual space and the result come back to the first one. So in fact, this is a bioneural feedback between two person working together. Quite interesting master diploma by Łukasz Purman. Then the, 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 the series of three pieces uh, from 2017 till 2019, uh, new uh, elements like reactive uh, scores, mapping, acusmonium sensorium, biofeedback tactile. You see the, the reactive scores which are built up uh, live uh, by the orchestra. That's the structure of the piece in Polish, but you see six uh, waves, vertical, horizontal, uh, tidal uh, waves, entropy waves, rotation waves, and neural, neural uh, wave on the, on the end. Uh, a quite large piece, one hour uh, large. Then another piece also for the, uh, the group of solists, amateur teenagers, which are used as alternative performers, audio and video mapping, quite uh, interesting. That's the diagram of the piece. Uh, you see, you have also the link to those uh, places. Here, the last piece together with Chris Cutler, I build up the concept when we are, we are divided ourselves for two uh, hemispheres of brain. I'm controlling one video representation of the uh, video and laser representation of hemisphere and Chris Cutler controls another one. We are playing together, inter, uh, uh, integrating uh, uh, the, the system in a very special multi-layer uh, live interactive uh, system. Here you have the list of, uh, of different form of brainwaves representation, as a velocider, converter, sonification, and uh, all of them are used in different uh, uh, projects already mentioned. And then on the end, I'm talking about um, vacuum space, uh, vacuum acoustic space in my piece, uh, nothing from 2010, which is the case of vanishing space. So here you have, uh, you, you should dive into the silent space. In fact, it's not silent. It's based on very high frequency, which are not really audible, but they, they are spanning a, a, a concept of acoustic vacuum. That's all what I have for now. You have my website here on the end. So when you have any question, please start and do not hesitate to, to ask me. I'm available easily on the web, on Facebook uh, and on other uh, services. All the best. Thank you very much for your attention. This is funny because Hi. Some... Okay. Uh, thank you very much uh, Mar to Marek Kolonievski. I'm Andrea Agostini. I'm uh, chairing this session. Uh, so thanks a lot for this uh, inspiring presentation. I especially like when I see that there is a sort okay. of a triangle between uh, technological research and uh, theoretical reflection and artistic practice and creation. So thank you. That was really uh, really, really inspiring. Uh, there have been a few questions here. I have a few too, but let's start from what is uh, 
Can you hear me? Yes, I guess so. I hear you yes. very well. Okay, yeah. perfect. Mm -hmm. um, so let's see a few questions. There was one from, from Federico Fontana, uh, mm -hmm. to which uh, you partly answered uh, in the chat, but perhaps you might want to elaborate a bit on this. So it's about the uh, potential and possibility of creating a vertical soundscape, so either physical or electronic. Okay, so in fact, there was, of course, a small misunderstanding because I, I think that I, I skipped one extremely important item and element of the project. So, in fact, in each room, uh, there are two people. One is a musician in a window playing its part. I, of course, also skipped all explanation of how the project should be arranged and built up because that's, that's another story. But I try to make a as short as possible, but in fact, I missed the, the very important element. And the second person is near the main, the entrance door, near the light switch. So, when the musician plays his part, his sequence, the part of the score, the second person switches total darkness city. The people are outside the building. They watch the front wall of the building. And when they listen to the to the orchestra playing, they also see the light orchestration. You understand? That's the concept. So try to imagine the Bolero by Ravel. It start, we start from the window, from a single window, but on the end, all the all the front wall is lighting, is is um, is full of light. So th th this is the concept. But in fact, I, I was considering a different repertoire. My, in my mind, I, I, I was thinking to start up from fireworks by Handel <laughs> on, the, on the beginning, okay. and with the fires on the on the on the on the roof of the building. But then the uh, the the topophonic pieces, which includes the space element in the orchestration. You know, there are several pieces. Yes, there's a space dialogue between the instruments. According to the location, we have the classical location, but with the contemporary repertoire, it's not really regular. So that's that's the, that's the second point. But the most in interesting project was to start from the light score. Try to imagine you want to write a letter A on this building, so you indicate in the score what instruments and when they should start playing. So I built up the score without notes, <laughs> just with the with the graphics, with the visuals who I want to express, and then later okay. we are composing the music. So that's the that's the concept inside the vertical orchestra. I see. Yes, that's fascinating. And actually, I was wondering uh, always about the score. Uh, if you consider, since I understand that this is a uh, this is an utopian project, so you never yes, actually no. got to realize it, or did you? No, no, I was very close. In 2008, okay. we had the 120 years anniversary of our Academy of Music in Krakow, and, and our academic orchestra was involved in the project. But um, uh, from technical uh, problems, we, I, I gave up. That, that was the right word, because we're close, but then I said, well, it's too risky I see. To, make a, to make a bet you know, performance. And it's yes, I was, I was actually wondering if you had considered the possibility of uh, creating some sort of written delay lines in the score so as to recreate in a way what a wave field synthesis system does, which of course is utopian unless you have some sort of uh, uh, yeah, but... <laughs> metrono very strict <laughs> metronomic track the mm -hmm. musicians should follow. Well, in the in the project we had two conductors involved, and the whole concert was on the way to be prepared in a regular concert hall, with the musicians on the last two days with the headphones, wireless headphones, with two, one conductor just a regular conductor, while the second one was a metronome conductor. So the person was just involved to control the system to distribute this all with all those offsets and delays, you know, in the right way, because on the end, the orchestra, the plan was that the orchestra are moving to the rooms and they are, they are separated. They don't see each other. Also, the, the, the role of the conductor is quite spectacular because, in fact, I thought about him 
to be lifted in this open space in front of the building, you know, on the level of the second floor. We have six floors of the of the building. So the idea was that it's in the middle of the building, in front of the building, you know, watching and conducting. But in fact, he was conducting also with the headphones and with a with a click track. So yes. it was the that was the idea that they are in fact each of them are just following a, a, a metronome, a click track, prepared yes. and, and, and all those offsets. So of That's, course, yeah. right, that it's a little bit risky, utopic. But the, the starting point was to to put the third dimension. So my idea was when you watch on the, on, in the Philharmonic Hall to the orchestra, I've got this feeling I would like to lift them in the vertical position, you know, like... Sure, and, yes, it's fascinating. Uh, and then to get this third dimension, the vertical dimension, to hear the, the sound moving up and down. So that, that was the main idea. And following yeah. certain experiments with uh, wave field synthesis, I was, I was in a technical university in Berlin uh, and, and checking the, the, the system. So that was just the inspiration. But moving from, sure. well, like a special composition and many other things coming from the technical invention and then landing up back to more traditional means and 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 turning a little bit the orchestra to be a special vertical yes, orchestra. Yes, this is very clear. I would like to ask you another question, always taken from our uh, YouTube chat. This is from Andrea Valle. Uh, he asks, uh, and I was I was about to ask the same exact question. Can you elaborate on the Chris Cutler collaboration? I'm very curious. So yes, he's oh. like one of the greatest drummers alive, and I'm very envious of this collaboration. Well, so the, the, you know, we know each other very long, and okay. we're cooperating in many cases. His book was translated to Polish, and and well, in the 80s, I was also um, uh, starting up with several people uh, um, experimental rock uh, scene. Uh, in, in in Poland, like and other uh, freight train group, so that was very close to me, you know, the the, the approach and um, and to open this 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 space. But in fact, uh, the collaboration was a part of of uh, our five big project in a 100th anniversary of Poland uh, celebration, and we were Polish artists invited were inviting international artists for single projects. So um, I, I I talked with Chris and I said, well, this is the moment when I'm using a brainwave, you know, <laughs> monitoring feedback system. So I have an idea that when we are inside the space, you are controlling one virtual hemisphere ab above us and I'm controlling another one. So the, the space is in form of two hemispheres and we, we, in fact, show what's going on in our heads, you know, why we are performing live interconnected. So that, that was the idea. Well, we have, uh, we have uh, a lot of uh, recordings from the uh, world premiere in Lviv in Ukraine, October 20. And we were on the way to perform uh, uh, recently, but of course it was postponed. Um, we don't know the, yes. the date. Of the beginning of August is also um, fixed. I think we are going to Milano in autumn, but it's also not confirmed. Okay. This is, well, I hope so. I hope so. I will definitely come yeah. to check you out. And I guess this is the same for most of my friends and colleagues here in Torino. Uh -huh. Okay. So, so that, thank you very much. That, 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 I don't know if we have any other... Waiting. Sorry? The project is ready, is waiting with two other artists um, responsible of ambisonic, you know, multi channel space also concerned I'm using uh, very strange devices uh, rotating Bluetooth speakers you know rotating over the, okay. the, the space the same way Chris Chris is using a lot of objects and 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 this, this is really like from a very miniature small things to be processed and amplified on a larger scale but the, what is most important the laser and video projection which is which is above us it's spinning like a network. I see. Uh, around. Okay, so thank you very much. I think we are running out of time. I don't see yeah. any other questions. So uh, thank you. It's been a great honor and I hope to see you soon in Milano.
Thank you very much. Goodbye. Thank you. I keep, I keep finger I, I, I think yeah, I'm, I'm here. <laughs> Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Thank you. Goodbye.